Mario Kart Wii are so back. I can't believe I got myself to say that. Anyway, this is Mario Kart Wii. I, it has been so long since I've last recorded this on my channel. Yo, we got someone else with the Luigi mock bike. Oh, good start. This is a, there's so many things to talk about that has changed since the last time I recorded one of these. Oh, are these Mega TCs? I haven't played on Retro Rewind uh, Inc. by yet. I doubt they are. Ah. Uh. Okay, they're not Mega TCs. I'm glad I did that. Uh, dude, there's so much to talk about. I'm getting a box. Dude, it feels so good to be playing this again. Like, I really- Oh, the item boxes. I've been Mario Kart 8 pilled. I think the item boxes respawn so fast, but they don't. This is Luigi with the mock bike in first place is killing it, by the way. Suicide is badass. Or he could just fall off. I think he actually fell off, yeah. The Luigi's are top doing. I got a nice cheeky little low trick there. This is- I look good to myself. This is good. It feels so good to be playing- like, I can't stress it enough. Like, the last time I recorded this- recorded one of these sessions was like maybe a year ago. There's so much to go on about. Like, I just disappeared off the face of the internet. But hey, not about first race back. Second place? I haven't played this game in a few months. It's been way longer since I played it online. Dude, I, I feel so bad for anyone that watched that other- my Jet Setter video and has been waiting for the next follow-up. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't know this game at all. Oh, this is gonna take a lot to get myself back into the swing of things. I feel so bad for people that- I'm running the mock bike right now because I have a comment engraved into my head that someone wanted to see me use the mock bike. So here it is right now, a year late. <laughs> I do apologize. Oh, I could cut through this grass right here. We got a nice big room this time around. It got 10 people instead of before, which is great to see. You know, it's nice early in the morning where I am. Uh, 8.30, that being early. Not, not terribly early, but you know. I feel so bad. Like, I, the truth behind the scenes there is that I actually recorded two more videos after that Jet Setter video. And they just never saw the light of- oh, I mashed it once many times. And they never just saw the light of day. Dude, this guy's on the flame flyer? Check out- check out this Rosa. I might not want to hop back on the Jet Setter, Loki. Bring it back for a few races, maybe. Um... Oh, I need to get back to the swing of things. I, I recorded it twice. I think I set like my expectations too high. Uh, I don't want to get hit by that guy. I think I've just been setting my expectations too high on a video to record because I had so much fun recording that first Jet Setter video. And then I recorded a few more with the mock bike. Oh. And I, as I was going, oh wow. The first time I edit, the one edit, I actually messed around with the audio checks so I could see if I can. Oh wow, I need to look backwards more often. And the audio got messed up. There was no game audio at all, which I could have worked with, but me then, I wasn't really competent, so I definitely did not want to try to work around that. So yeah, there was that. The second time, I just thought the recording wasn't good. <laughs> like, I wasn't being entertaining. I, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't doing too good. Like, you could definitely tell I was burnt, I was under the, the energy, the energy of my record, my initial recording failure was still very much present on that second one, and it just wasn't a good video. And ever since- oh, jeez, ah! And ever since then, uh... Oh, this guy's- oh! Okay, I secured my third place spot. <laughs> and ever since then, um, I've just been, like, I had the lack of motivation to start recording again. I should get back the stars on my account. Maybe I should just record me doing the Grand Prix, because I know that's makes pretty funny content sometimes. You know, right now, if for those who may know me, I'm... Gosh, I've been Mario Kart 8 pilled, dude. What's up, Luigi? We're, we're just the back to Luigi mock bike players, you know. We're, we got our own little, like, plan here. <laughs> What's up, player? With the funky... I like the retro Wii one, because you could... Look at that, super blooper. Like, you get to see some variety now that I think you could actually use all the inside drift transmissions with the carts online as well, so that's honestly really awesome to see. I might try maybe another cart other than the Jet Center, because Jet Center is actually, I think, still just up with the run uh, automatic on. Uh, I don't know if it's worth the chain when I already still have two. Maybe just, it was worth. Who knows? Like, the, the experts of this game will know. That's for sure. Oh! You know, I've had a pretty bad, like, nights of sleep. Like, I go to bed super late. I have a friend that doesn't get off work till late. We usually play together late at night. And, I, I don't know, last night I decided to go to sleep early. Like, I'm talking 10, 10 p.m. early. That's early for me. And I woke up 7 in the morning, and I felt unstoppable. 
Like, even to the point of me wanting to re ah, record a video that I told myself I'd do all summer so far. And now I finally have, like, the will to do it. Which sounds kind of sad, saying that out loud now, that- Oh, jeez. But it's definitely like, I'm that kind of person where I need to have an early start to the day for me to be productive and better just use now. I can't get hit by this Mario either. Not a good race. I, I didn't do too well. <laughs> Fourth place? Is this real? Okay, I was about to say. Okay, I thought I was six. I don't think I passed anyone going up the, the, to the finish. I guess the times are trying to sink. It's never a session of Wing 5 without Luigi Circuit, honestly. This track has to show up at one point or another. Um, alright. Let's see if we can- Phew! I can never get- yeah, that's my new goal of the video. I'm gonna get one head start boost. It's- it's going to happen. Do we have a few DCs? Oh, they're- they're moving. Maybe they're bagging or something out. Oh! <laughs> or something, I don't know. Dude, this game is so chaotic. You have to be so wary of everything that's happening around you at all times. Am I able to chain this? No. That- uh, I recorded a Mario Kart- not recorded. That was a stream highlights, actually. It should be fine. Um... Of the latest Mario Kart video I uploaded, it was Mario Kart 8. Yeah, anyway, I recorded that and or more or less streamed it. And I edited it just to experiment around with editing styles I could do for Mario Kart videos. That one's more of an experimental one, because I, I it turned out to be a three minute video. From like and I just picked like maybe five different races to show on that one. I wanted to try to see if the people liked the fast pace uh, sorta of feel to it. But with me recording, it's kind of, because you know with streaming, I say things so, oh, geez, segmented. Like, it works well with that editing style where it seems like it's not stuff action. I don't know if people like that, as far as marker video goes. Like, I don't mind watching the whole entire race, but I know maybe some people like that. No, you don't, buddy. Ah, good pass. First place, dude, these placement trackers. I'm pretty sure I'm third. Go to bed at a decent hour. If you have a messed up sleep schedule like me, if you can't fix it, do like work or whatnot, like you work on night shifts, then... I don't know. If you if you seriously lack the energy to do anything in the mornings, especially on your summer breaks like me, go to bed at a decent hour and wake up at a decent hour too. Like I woke up at seven in the morning, I went to bed at ten, I got a good nine hours of sleep. I woke up super fresh, rejuvenated, and you know, this is the most energy <laughs> I've had waking up in like a couple of weeks, honestly. Like I never felt so refreshed. You know, this game has a few like flaws that I don't like. This is gonna be burnout. Head start timing is being not so close to Mario Kart 8's version. Joking. That's not a fair comparison. I've, I think I've played just about every single Mario Kart game besides. Wow, someone dropped a star. You hate to be them. Before getting to play this one again. I really do. Oh my! And I really do mean that statement. But this brings me to the question. I'm like, yo, I actually really want to know what's your guys' favorite Mario Kart? game in general. Like for me, I think it would have to be Double Dash. I really like Mario Kart Double Dash. I just wish I had a friend to play it with because then I'll have maximum like enjoyment with it. Yo, this guy do jab jump. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing, Mario? What are we doing? Oh, he's doing the, sh the glitch. The ultra shortcut. Is that what that is? I see him on the minimap going everywhere. What's... No! I'm in the air. I can't dodge that. I think. I don't, can you dodge blue shells in the air? I actually don't know. I honestly do enjoy playing this Like, every single Mario Kart game is, oddly enough, like, vastly different from one another. It's actually really interesting. I also really like the OG Mario Karts, like Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart 64, and Super Circuit. Oh! And I do see this connection's out of the way. Luckily it doesn't take that long re -queuing. I actually got a head start right, and I got, like, the good head start too. Okay, these guys got some heavy vehicles. I gotta be careful around them. I'm just a, a little a wee little medium weight around these heavies. But yeah, I don't think I've actually ever told the story like even on stream or something like that. I had that one... This is a, it was a funny story looking back at it. Or, I don't know if funny is the right way to put it. But it's a story. <laughs> it's interesting how people always say like funny story. That's literally anything they're about to tell. Like it's just... Part of like the natural like the order of operations for this thing you got a story. I had a Airbnb uh, like nightmare I guess like experience to say. I was out uh, vacationing pretty much in Europe. We got to we had a few stops. We went to uh, Ireland, Scotland, and then we ended off in uh, London. 
Why am I holding a blooper in second place? So we Airbnb'd uh, when we went to London. We had a pretty fairly large crowd. It was a mix of like two families. So we Airbnb'd like at a, a, a small little like, apartment type house. It was in a small little lot where there's a few other houses nearby. Oh, no joke. That's such a shame. I'm getting dead last. This is just a loss for me. That is an unfortunate TC. Oh, man. I really can't get these right. So when we stumbled upon to the Airbnb place, we there's a gate block it, block it off the little like corner we were held up at, you know, the that stuff. And there's like, supposed to be a key inside a, a key code like box. We got the code and the key's not there. We figure out that, that the housemate took actually took the keys with them. You know, that's fine. Except we were there at probably one of the warmest weeks ever. It was in the middle of August. So it was like made it high 80s with a bunch of humidity. It, it didn't feel good to stand still in the sun for like more than... Oh, that guy's going off for like maybe five minutes. And we were out there for an hour waiting and we didn't have any service because, well, we're in a foreign country. You know, the, you know, the, you know the shtick. Hey, a first place? That never happens. Wow. Dude, Dredge Eye Ruins actually would have been a pretty sick track to get in Mario Kart 8 DLC. I'm trying to... Oh, that's such a good bomb. Wow. We. I'm trying to think where I left off because, you know, I, I, I pause it between races so you guys don't pretty much miss out on the action or whatever. Back to the story. So we're out there sitting in the sun for a while. It, it, nobody was in good spirits. We didn't even want to... We just wanted to sit and rest. We got in from a, a nice far along train from Scotland. It was actually... There's some pretty good sites in the way. But, um... We just wanted to sit and chill. We got in there. We asked for towels from the housemaid that was there with us dropping off the keys. And they... They didn't give us any towels. They said there were already towels. There's only two towels. That's a problem when there's seven of us, and especially when we have splitting families. So that's an issue that came very present. I'm just gonna drop that back. So there was that, and there's a bunch of IKEA furniture placed around. I'm gonna use this. Oh, mock bikes got gracious drift stat. Oh, the wheelie bumps, dude. Oh, that's gonna crack. I got better acceleration than you. Ah, oh, but you have better speed. <laughs> good race, good race, then, by all. And the thing about, like, the IKEA furniture, it was not assembled correctly in some way. Like, you open up a drawer, it just falls apart. It's actually absurd. So anyway, we have non-working uh, IKEA furniture. We were sitting out in the sun for over an hour. You know, everyone's more up. morale is like pretty low at this point. They just want to rest up. Let's see. We had no aircon either, but it's the UK. You probably don't need it. I don't know what it's like living there. We were, all I know is that it was hot when we went. That's all I know. Oh, he's still in the star. I'm gonna back up to this. What is that? <laughs> okay, this works. Yeah! Shock dodge! Let's go! This is how we win. You get- this is why you get the blooper first. You get the bad item out of the way. You set- you desync- you get ready for the shock and coming from the last place across that box. I'm gonna box this in some way. Oh, hit the pipe. Yeah! We're gaming. I'm sorry I have to drop the story. I'm focusing so hard right now. Yeah! Get him with unexpected- Oh, that's a fate if I've ever seen one red shell. Oh! Red shell in the the mushroom. I think this is a clean dub from me. It depends on if you call shock dodging clean, which I define it as clean. <laughs> so no one was quite in high spirits when we were all settling down. We decided to just take it in for the night. We went to like some nearby pub. The food was pretty alright. Um, Nothing too remarkable. So we all get after that. We all settle in for the night. We we start uh, going to bed. You know. Now I'm a pretty heavy sleeper, so I wasn't there for any of the events that I'm about to talk about. Uh, pretty much completed the whole lap for me. Um. So this is going off what everyone but the adults say. Pretty much from here on forth, because I sleep pretty hard. Um. 
So around 2 in the morning, there was a sound of just cracking, like popping, really loud popping, like amplify a balloon popping sound, like, like tenfold maybe. Who target shocks the guy in second place? That's a pretty low move, I'm joking. Uh, that breaks. That does break as well. Oh, whoa, tight inside lane! And yeah, I'll we'll take a third place. So there's loud popping sounds, and they're all waking up by it. And there's just a bunch of like, yeah, adult, like older teenagers and young adults there. Like there's like cans of like, I don't know what it was. We're back on this track again, by the way. I wasn't looking. I was trying to figure out what it was. I think it. Uh, I think it was just cans of just some kind of gas. It's some kind of gas that's like, you know not good for the body. Let's just put it that way. It's been over a year since the events, I wasn't in there for it, so, you know, it's hard to remember. But, either way, it's like, it's quite, like, it makes you question how they even got, people got their hands on th this stuff. But anyway, there, because there were huge canisters of this, like, illegal substance. Well, of just this stuff of, like, gas that's, I think is impossible to find in, like, two liter cans that we saw. But, besides the point. They were just out there filling balloons, popping, and they were like laughing, they were bumping really loud music and whatnot. They were just being really bad. And that was the part of the story where I think I mentioned that this little area we were held up in happened to, uh, you know, we had like three total buildings in our little corner. And what the, how the Airbnb works there is that you can have, you could Airbnb with random people, or like have like roommates to say, like you could take one room in the house, and if there's another bedroom, another person can also take that, which can lead to situations like the one that just transpired that night. I think my calendar's off saying that it's July right now, because it must be October with how much Ghost Valley we've been getting, especially three times back to back. But, um... <laughs> Everyone, the, the salty runbacks are real, man. Like, like, this track is so short. It's like Luigi Circuit. Anything can happen. Oh, I suck at this game, man. I'm not good. But, uh, you know, and then the morning you just saw, like, perfect. Like, all I saw out there was, of course, those empty cans and then the, the balloons. And it was, it was just brutal in the morning. It was such a mess. I'm gonna get another, not another box, I'm gonna take the U turn about just because I felt like it. Um, yeah, the retro's kind of sick on this map out there, especially on that bend. Whoa, he's so much faster. Oh, jeez. That pal actually was so detrimental. I feel bad, like, and that was pretty much it. We didn't have any other problems the rest of the nights we were there. We were there for two more nights. They weren't a problem at all. Oh. Which is nice. I'm glad to say it was that. Oh, heavyweights! <laughs> but I feel bad for everyone else because I think it was me and one other person in the house that was actually able to sleep through it. I'm very lucky to. Sometimes being a heavy sleeper has its perks. How did we get Ghost Valley two, three times without getting a single coconut mall? Like, that's actually unbelievable. Three times in a row. Heck, it's showed up even more than three times total. Oh, Yeesh! I'm glad I had low speed there, actually. I would have collided with that guy in the air. But we knew himself was playing this game. If there's, like, anything to be learned from the story I told, be careful with your Airbnbs anywhere. Read up about them. Of course, it's not entirely unavoidable. Like, they could just hide the secret truths behind it. Read reviews carefully. And, uh, if you ever plan a trip to Europe, go to Scotland. That's, that's my takeaway. <laughs> Scotland was sick. And we had no, I have no funny stories about Scotland. Scotland was just pretty cool going on. I'm so sad they never brought back the Piantas for... Anytime they remade this track, actually. Like, it's gone seven... And eight. And I think Tor. I think Tor... I, it, it's so sad... To me that... What do you guys think about the Mario Kart 8? I know I've asked like a few questions now, and you know, I'm like, dude, you want me to take a second, second or third comment now? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, make up your mind. You're gonna tell me this guy did in the video? Like, 
You're gonna leave me with a million. You're gonna leave. You're gonna type a million comments. To that I say, well, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, mushroom. Woohoo! Um. Yikes! I was bold of me to actually stay moving forward like that. Oh, that's not. That's a. That's a slip drift. Wrong way at that. Or not. That's not a slip drift. What do you call that? There's so much tech in this game, right? It's hard to keep track of it all. Now I'm back to actually commentating the game like normal well, instead of trying to tell the story in like five million different races. Like, I feel like the booster course pass could have been so much better. Like, looking back at it, like, oh, the final like two wave, like the last wave is actually like my favorite wave as far as tracks go. But I feel like the track selection could have been so much better. Like, I remember people popping off at some tracks like, Yo, Toad Circuit! Yo, Rock Rock Ridge! And I'm like, dude, those tracks are, like, lame. And then when people actually got to play them, they're like, yeah, this, this sucks. <laughs> like, it was actually insane. I think Mario Kart Wii just has, like, the overall best track lineup out of any Mario Kart, at least until Mario Kart 8 with the DLC. It's kind of hard to beat 96 tracks. <laughs> but I feel like I, I would have loved to see some tracks with different ones in the Booster Course Pass, like, I would have, like, I know people will probably heavily disagree with me here. I would have personally loved to see Luigi Circuit from this game over Toad Circuit. <laughs> I just want to have a Luigi Circuit in another Mario Kart game. Either that or Mario Raceway from Mario Kart 64. Like, I want one of those tracks to come back to Mario Kart 8. Like, that's what I really want. Just the random. Well, then I guess I would have made the bagging situation worse in Mario Kart 8. If we got. You know, Mario Waste Boy. Whoa, I'm not gonna be able to do the no stop shortcut like that. This track got a pretty sick remake on Wii though, or 8. Which I'm happy about, because this track's good. We got justice in 8. I'm happy to say that. Oh! Um, what tracks? I'm trying to think what other tracks I would have liked to see instead. I don't can't really say much about it. I'm pretty. I've. I, I would have liked Sunset Wild. Like, some tracks got, like, worse, I think. Like, Sunset Wilds, I I hate that they just took the tracks from Tour, I think, and put them, slapped them in Mario Kart 8. Because, I mean, I'm pretty sure Sunset Wilds could have been so much better, but... Because, like, it's hardly recognizable to the original version of Sunset Wilds. And I think that's what really, like... The track got downgraded so hard. It used to be like a really cool track, but oh, dude. I don't think anybody shot Dodge, which is good. So they actually found their golden upper window in that shock. I don't know whoever used the shock. Oh, they don't. That's a bullet! It's gonna ruin everything! Oh, that's so lucky. I'm securing this next place spot now. That was astronomically bad. If you guys have somehow stuck around until this late into the video, please consider dropping a like. Maybe even commenting saying like, ooh. But maybe the spotlight vehicle you like to see next. I'll try to be vigilant on the upload next time instead of waiting another year. <laughs> Alright, last race of the video. And of course you gotta finish him off with the jet setter. This is kinda of, this is gonna ruin you with the video. Oh, vehicle. Of the, of, the sh of the chat. <laughs> I'm thinking of streaming, so I'm calling it that. The channel. The YouTube channel. Dude, the, 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 this jet's up. Dude, it's actually so fun. Dude, the road is so slight. This is not good. Oh, don't show any of this. You can't make this turn with the jet set. It's actually just not good enough. <laughs> I'm holding hard left. Let's go. Woo! Did the work wave. This is a bad matchup. Alright, this would be good, actually. It'll drop me off right here, yep. Yeah. Yeah, get these items. I'm gonna- this bridge is actually so bad for this cart. Well, besides that, a bomb covers the entire bridge. Oh, you just can't make any- what? How was I- I feel like I did pretty alright with the Jets in that video. Like, I didn't win everything, of course. And I had a few bad races, but I feel like I overall did pretty good. This is doing it- bringing it to shame. I gotta just use this. Do I get better steer? I do have better steering! Well, it's hard to tell, but I am a little faster, so and I was able to make it crashing to the wall once. That's a victory, if, if you ask me. SpongeBob! SpongeBob! <laughs> My balls are stuck in the door. Can you really blame me? I haven't used this vehicle in, like, maybe the better part of a year. 
Alright, well, I think I know we all know how this race is gonna end, so we'll probably just not show it before things start getting real sad for me. Oh, I'm gonna lose, dude. I'm gonna lose. We could be Toad. We could be Toad. We could be Toad. No, don't show this. I'm losing. <laughs>